Good morning, everyone. We are continuing in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah Zakatzar. And today we will conclude the halach is a Pesach that he brings down. Mitzvah Zlaisa say a negative commandment, Shlalechel Chavetz for Pesach. You're not allowed to eat Chavetz, leavened bread and products on Pesach. Shinema, like it says in the verse, Velo Ye Achel Chavetz. It says, do not eat Chavetz. Very simple. The Afilu Ba'ana Osir. Even to derive any benefit from chametz is also you want to use a stale loaf of bread as a paperweight on your desk. That's called getting hana, that's called getting pleasure from chametz. You can't do that either. If a person eats a kezayis, an olive's worth measurement of chametz on Pesach, but maize it if you did it knowingly, which you're aware that it's the wrong thing, chayev karis, the punishment is you're going to get spiritually cut off it's a very bad punishment. Or b'shoigig, if a person did it b'shoigig, which means he wasn't sure, or it was inadvertent, that he ended up eating the chametz on Pesach, chayev chatas, he has to bring a korban chatas, a sin offering. V'yachar ha'oichel, v'yachar ha'mamacha, v'shoigig, whether you eat it, whether you dissolve it into a drink and you drink it, it doesn't matter. Any way the chametz gets down into your mouth, down the throat, that's already considered to be transgressing this negative commandment of not eating chametz on Pesach. V'aichel pachos mekezayis, however, if you eat less than the olive's worth, makin aisem makas mardus, then you just get lashes instead for being disobedient and not following the laws of the Torah in the best way possible. V'noig b'chol makayim v'mechol zman, we, are, we keep this everywhere all the time. Is the chayim when it us with men and with women, and the final halacha halacha he is mitzvahs leisase the negative commandment shalalechol taroivus chametz for Pesach. Not only are you not allowed to not only are you not allowed to eat outright chametz, but even a mixture of chametz you cannot eat. Shenema like it says kol machmetzes leisachelu anything that is leavened you cannot eat. Bein nisar bein minay or bein nisar shalav mino whether. It is mixed with its own kind of food, meaning you have different types of chametz that are mixed together, or you have chametz that is mixed together with other types of food. For example, this is something that many people are not aware of, and that's why they make kosher le Pesach soy sauce. What does the average soy sauce on the shelf have? It has chametz inside of it, it has wheat. So you have wheat that is mixed together with soy, and that's a taruva shel chametz, that is a mixture of chametz, because you have the wheat that is in there, mixed in with something else, and therefore you're not allowed to have soy sauce that is mixed in with wheat on Pesach. And that is why when you go to the store, because of course a Jew in 2022 can't live without soy sauce in his quinoa on Pesach, on Cholomot, on Yom Tiv. so we have to have quinoa, and we have to have kosher Pesach soy sauce, which, of course, is not even made out of soybeans because according to the Ashkenazim, soybeans is kidneyous, and you can't eat that either, so you have to have completely uh, falsified soy sauce, all chemically engineered soy sauce, in order that the 2022 Jew can be able to have soy sauce on his quinoa and his sushi quinoa over Pesach in order to have the simchas yom tov that he's looking for. If a person had a kezayis had the olives worth of chametz that was mixed in over here, and he ate it in the amount of time that it says that let's say two minutes, perhaps it's three minutes, perhaps it's six minutes, maybe even up to nine minutes, but he eats enough. He transgresses the prohibition of the mixture of chametz. However, he doesn't have to get karis. He doesn't get speech to cut off. And if there wasn't enough chametz that was in there, in the amount of time of the achilas pras it takes to eat, a, to eat a piece of bread, or half a loaf of bread, then he ends up getting the, uh, he gets the lashings. That we keep this everywhere all the time, whether with, with men, or with women, we're obligated to keep this halacha. So again, the two halachas there is number one, outright chametz, of course, a person cannot eat. The chiddush is even chametz, where there's a mixture. You have chametz mixed in with other things. Even there, a person doesn't say that the chametz is bottle, the chametz is nullified within the 
the non-chametz food, chametz remains as it is, and therefore you can't eat it in that situation either. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.